everyone, what is up? Welcome back to Fixing It Up with Sandra. Um, in case you're new here, I'm Sandra. And I have it angled down just slightly. I'm kind of in the picture, kind of not. Um, I've been exercising, I've been cleaning house, and then I decided I wanted to do a wreath. And I'm getting my hair cut in a little bit, so hence the, um, the messy hair. But I wanted to show you this wreath because this is actually, it's pretty dirty. <laughs> it's actually a pretty easy wreath. Um, and it's just something that I absolutely love to do. It's working with a wine barrel ring. Say that fast three times. Um, I have quite a few of them and I did um, some last year, but I used live greenery. And then as I'm looking over here, there's the one that I have from last year. And so it's, it still looks nice, but this year I was like, you know what, let's just do some faux greenery. Um, and let's see how this turns out. And I don't want to waste any time because I've got a lot of stuff to do. So let's just jump right into it. I'm just going to point the camera down and back you up just a little bit. Um, I probably have to give you more, back you up just a little bit more. I'm trying to work on my dining room table. All right, because my office is a mess. Okay, so as you can see, I have a wine barrel ring right here. I live in wine country, um, and so <laughs> these are pretty easy to come by. And they're just your typical wine barrel ring, very rustic-y, very um, farmhouse-y if you say. These do still have two of their spiky nails in here. I'm gonna try to work around it. Um, what I have here is a, is this a flock? This is, well, a stem. I've got a stem from Michael's, yeah, a stem. It's called the Christmas Noel. It was $11.99 at 40% off. I'm just gonna show you in case you wanna go get the same one. Oh, I got my finger. Oh yeah, Christmas Noel. Okay, so I got two of these and this is like the snowy kind, just super cute. And I'm just gonna go ahead and um, kind of flock it, puff it up, you know, move things around. Um, I don't, well, I mean, this is kind of budget friendly considering that I've had the, um, the wine barrel ring so I didn't have to pay for it. So, but I did, you know, I didn't buy anything, you know, like how I would normally, this was just like a spur of the moment kind of wreath. And I was like, I really just, I saw these and I'm like, I'm doing a wreath with this. So what I did is I just kind of like, you know, pulled it apart a little bit, kind of fluffed it up ever so slightly trying not to, and this is very messy. So as you can see, it's all over my table. Um, just kind of set it in there and do the same with the other one. Just kind of pull things a little bit apart. Kind of fluff it a little bit. All right. All right, that looks a little bit more fluffed than this one. So let me do a little bit of adjusting. Please do this in a space, especially if you get this kind of stuff in a space where you are like, you're not going to get too worried about the, the snow, the faux snow falling off. And I'm just going to kind of bend this to fit this. All right. So, oh, I forgot to take this tag off. So these were both about $12, 40% off. So these were about seven eight dollars a piece I lost my my receipt or it's somewhere um, but it's so pretty so here's what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna kind of place these in kind of figure out where I want them and then I have some green floral wire you can get this at Michaels I do believe I got this one at Michaels a couple years back um, this is the 22 gauge in case you're interested. Um, you can use the same um, floral, wire that, floral wire that you get at um, the Dollar Tree. So what I'm gonna do, I will be gluing this down, these stems down onto the, to the wine barrel ring, but to just give it some extra hold, 
I'm going to be wrapping wire around the stems and I'll show you, you'll see that in just a bit. I'm just gonna wind about a little bit of it. All right, so I'm gonna just start I have, let me see if I can bring you closer. So I want to show you, I have each stem. I'm probably gonna have to take the phone down. One second. Okay, so I have each stem, like where this, where this stem ends and the stem begins, that's where I'm gonna put this right here, okay? And then I'm gonna do the same on this side. And then I'm just going to wrap the wire all the way around this over and over. I might do a little bit of attachment with the wire right here and then as well as up there, but mainly it's going to be right here. Okay. So now, and with these flocks go high enough, I will be telling people, you know, there is the two nails in here um, when somebody purchases this, but it does go over the, um, the nails. So what I'm going to do, so I'm just going to back my chair up a little bit and kind of hang this part over the edge of my table just a little bit, as you can see. So it just makes it easier to, um, you know, do the wire. And what I'm going to do is just get a starting point right here and ah, there we go. So I have, and I will be doing a close up of this once, once, um, I get this all on. So I'm just gonna give it a good twist and then just wrap this, you know, cut, you know, pull tight. Cause you, again, you wanna give this like, let me just back my chair up a little bit more. You want this to, you know, hold this, these stems down, especially if somebody's putting this outdoors. Because of how, like the flock on this, I really wouldn't suggest this to be anywhere where it can get rained on, but still with the wind, you want to make sure that this is on here good and tight. All right, and just feel free to wrap it as many times as you feel comfortable. Um, and like I said, again, I am going to glue this down. And I'm kind of, I'm not kind of, I am making sure that the stems are centered in the wine barrel ring. I'll show you again what I mean by that in just a moment. Okay, so ran out of wire. I'm going to do a little bit more wire on here. And like I said, this is a fairly easy wreath to do. Um, if you plan ahead, like if you're looking for one for like spring or whatnot, um, you can order some beautiful stems online. I have not done that, so I can't tell you exactly where to go to get beautiful stems. I usually shop at Michael's after the season for stems when they're like 70% off. So <laughs> that's where I'm like, cause I just love, or Hobby Lobby, whichever I can get to. All right. Here we go. And just gonna double check on my wire, just flattening it out. I do like all of the wire wrapped around this. And what you can do, if you're like, I just don't like the wire look, once you do this, you can then wrap ribbon around it. Um, I might grab some green ribbon to just wrap around it. Or when I, in the springtime, I actually used floral tape that I got from the dollar store um, and it lasted on the spring one. It looks really pretty. Okay, I'm just going back over just a couple more times with some wire. I just want to really be sure that this is on here good and secured before I start any gluing. Ah. All right. 
I'm feeling pretty good about the uh, wire on here. So I'm just gonna kind of tuck this in here. All right, so I'm just gonna set this up so you can see what I'm talking about. How cute is that? Let me just bring the camera up a little bit. So see how that looks? Here it, oop, I did do the top part yet, which I might put like one good wrap around on each side right here, just so it doesn't do what you saw. But here's how it looks on the side. And then here's how it looks right down below. So see, that's how it is. So again, if you wanted to use maybe like some ribbon, either brown to kind of match the stems, green, whatever your choice is, or just like a really pretty ribbon, um, or you can just leave it plain. So I'm going to now just go around this one little part. Just kind of thread it through right here. All right. Just give that some tw good twist. There we go. We're gonna do it on the other side as well. And just tuck those, uh, <laughs> those sharp edges down. There we go. Now, we're gonna do a side over here. squish my little acorn or not acorn my pine cone again just make sure you kind of have it centered where you want it all right there we go All right, there we go. Now this is I this is secured on here um, well. So even if you didn't add glue, so see how this is like, you know, this is not coming off. But if you wanna put glue, which I'm gonna be doing, um, it'll be even more secured. So now I'm just gonna kinda of tuck that in for right now. All right, so what I am thinking about let me go grab some white ribbon if I have it. All right, so I didn't have any white ribbon, but I wanna show you what I have, which I'm like, this is perfect. I got this from Michaels. I'm just gonna do a little wrap right here, which I think is super cute. Here is where I'm going to use glue. So I have my glue gun. there so you know for a lot of us you know if we shop at Michaels that you're paying I mean still if you're shopping the sales it's still I mean it could still be costly you know I paid bought this ribbon it's 40% off of so it was like a five dollar ribbon but I think that's what the price is just nowadays trying to make this. I'm putting ornaments on top of this, so if it's kind of not perfect, it's not gonna be super noticeable. I'm just wanting to do something to jazz up this uh, bottom part. And it's totally perfect that it's this fabric. I'm just doing it to where it like slightly overlaps. Okay. Cut it right there.
Perfect. So just add a little blue right here. And because, like I said, you're not going to be able to see this part of it, I'm going to go ahead and add quite a bit of glue again, just so it doesn't become unraveled. <laughs> Just glue all over my fingers. All right, enough of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut off this little bit of extra fabric and then just put some more glue on the edge. There we go. All right, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So it blends in kind of, I mean, right? So here's what I'm gonna do. And let me get something to hold my, my wreath up. All right, guys, so this is a um, wreath holder that I got from the dollar store. Now, yes, some of them are not as good <laughs> as the others, but this is what's, Gonna be able, you're gonna be able to see what I'm doing and it'll hold this up, it was what I need. So I'm just trying to get this straight, perfect. Okay, so now it's straight and what I have are these six pack of ornaments that I got at Walmart. Again, these are $7. I mean, as you can see, this is starting to kind of add up here, which is completely fine. I understand what I'm paying for. <laughs> But this was a spur of the moment kind of a wreath and I'm happy about it. <laughs> so don't feel bad if you are paying for things at Michael's and whatnot. And then yes, I will be charging accordingly. So I also got some of these frosted Christmas um, uh, berries. I, mean, I thought I had four, now I have four. Right now I have two, but I'm gonna show you what they look like and I'm gonna go grab the other one. Let me wind it through here. How cute are these, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to open these up. Each little berry kind of pulls away from the stem on a wire. And so I'm just gonna kind of flock this a little bit. Kind of just do it up like that, you know, just pull it apart, see the difference? And there's already some on here and this is full of wire. So I don't know quite where I'm going to stick these yet. So I guess I'll hold off on a finding the other berry. I might just need the two. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull them all apart like so. So now what I'm going to do first is place my couple of ornaments on the, the ribbon that I have right here, okay? My little dog is behind me making noise. Oh, you can see her. There's Coco, there's Coco Beans. You see her on the rug right here? Right there, that's my Coco Beans. Okay, these are cute plastic red ornaments, which makes me feel even better because if they were glass, I'd be a little worried. So here's what they look like. Four come to a pack. They've even got like the faux wood thing. Here's what I'm wanting to do. This is what I pictured, that I would stick them like so. Okay, so they're not gonna be even on here. I'm going to leave the top on with the string, all right? So let me move these out of the way. And I'm gonna put, make sure I have extra glue. So I'm gonna put a bunch of glue right here, really get a lot of it, get a lot of it on there. Ah. Does anybody else get that? Push the glue through with their teeth. Okay, I'm gonna try to get right here. And the good thing about these being plastic is that um, the weight of them is really, really light. So the glue will hold it on there 
pretty well. Um, I'm just gonna keep it on here until like I know that it's not going to fall off. In the meantime, I wanna show you what I'm gonna have. So again, pay full price, I don't care. This is a super cute Merry Christmas sign. Again, I love the fact that it had, so I chose it because it had the flocked, um, well, kind of, sorta. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dangle this in the center. How stupidly cute is that gonna be? So, and then I also have some ribbon I don't want this ornament to move at all. So I'm just gonna hold this down for a little bit longer. But this is gonna be gorgeous. This is gonna be a, like, I mean, obviously because everything is full price, you know, I didn't get discounts on anything, um, even paying half price for the, for the, for the stem. So I'm gonna be pricing it accordingly. Let me just say, if it don't sell, <laughs> it's gonna look beautiful in my shop. So I'm not gonna be super bummed, although of course I would like to make some money off of it. But all right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Thank God, plastic. So I'm not, I'm gonna kind of turn them. So like, you see the tops? So they kind of twist and turn like, or not twist and turn, but like they have the different, you know, that like that. So, <laughs> okay, now I'm gonna put this one on. I wish I had my ridiculously screaming hot giant glue gun here, but that's at my shop. So, okay, I'm gonna stick that one right there and hold it down. And then I'm just gonna place one more right here. Um, and then we're gonna attach the centerpiece right here into the center and then I do have ribbon, although I'm not 100% sure if I'm gonna use it because I just don't want it to be too much. I do know that there are limits, although sometimes I like to push the limits. Okay, that one, that one hung on a lot faster. All right, so I've got one more. I mean, I'm just gobbing this glue up because I really don't want anything to move once I place it on here. And then I'll still go back and like around any edges, put glue. Okay. Just fill this glue gun real fast. And I'm actually really glad that I wrapped ribbon around the base of it because I don't have anything to completely cover the bottom. Um, as you can see, like right here, like you can still see the metal. So if you are doing this and you're doing it the exact same way, definitely wrap the bottom however you want because the um, it makes the ornament stick. That's number one. And I wasn't thinking about that. Um, and then number two, like you're not gonna be able, you won't see the wire. So it does uh, serve a purpose. Now, with my little berries, what do I want to do with them? Because I really, really like these berries. I'm like, do I dab them in here? It almost doesn't need them. As much as I want to stick them on here, it almost doesn't need it. We'll see. Okay. I am all about being extra, so. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit more glue just around all the edges that, you know. Okay. All right, there we go. Okay, so those are on. I still have the fourth one. I'm not going to use it so far. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tear this little sign off again from Walmart. And let me see. Okay, so this is just kind of on there. I want this to, to move up a little bit more. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, so I want this to be tied around. Here, let me bring this up now. 
So I want this to be tied around here. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna go ahead and cut this string. Um, because it's kind of, the string is like attached really well to this piece, I'm not gonna try to put on a new string. I'm just gonna simply cut this string and right where this is. So I'm just gonna retie it like so. And yes, there will be glue on this as well. Just a second. All right, so this is, let me just take this off real fast. So you have an idea, and I'll back up in just a moment. My chair is right there. Okay, so here's what we have going on. What do you all think? So that's how it's gonna be. Um, I will definitely have it centered. What do you guys think so far? What do you guys think? Isn't this super adorable? And maybe I hmm, I'm like, do I need that bow is where I'm still stuck. So, okay, let's fix this because this is not staying in its place. So I'm gonna use some glue and we're gonna fix this to where this stands right up. Okay, so it's back on my little stand and I think I'm going to attach some glue to the back of these pine cones. I wanted to say acorns again. I don't know why. And onto the string. So this kind of pulls straight up and then hold that. This is super stinking cute. I think we will go ahead and do a very, very simple bow on the top because people can hang it right here if they choose to. Still not completely dry, so you just have to hold that there for just a moment. And maybe then that's where we'll put the, um, oh gosh, that's where I'll put my little berries. <laughs> like, I'm so desperate to use these berries. I mean, they just go with this, that's why I bought them. Oh, this is gonna take a minute to cool. So let me come right back once this cools. All right, so now I have that, um, drying the glue. Just kind of get all of this flocked stuff out of the way. Ugh. Okay, so I have this red and white ribbon, which I think would be perfect. Again, got it at Michael's. And so this is a three and a half by 15 foot wire ribbon. We're just going to do an incredibly simple bow. Um, I love, 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 love how this feels. I love how this looks. Um, so what I'm doing is just taking this, all right, let me just see, oh my God, it's going to be so pretty. Okay. So I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't have a freaking ruler with me. I don't have a ruler with me. I am just guesstimating. So these wine barrel rings come in different sizes. So that's why I also don't want to tell you like the exact length of this bow. Just kind of do what I'm doing, keep it on the roll. Um, so I took this and folding it right here. And then where this is, I'm just laying this down and then just pinching it to see if that's the bow that I want. And this is kind of like what you're gonna end up with. And then I'm like, hmm, is that the length? That's the length. So. <laughs> Now I'm just going to cut right here, and that's the top of my bow. And we're gonna be using some of that floral wire to make it all come together. I'll show you in just a second. But first, I'm just gonna measure, like just show it again. Yep, that's where I wanted it. Okay, so what I'm gonna do 
So I'm gonna take this, I've got these two ends, I'm gonna do a small, thin, not small, but just thin, you know, a little bit of glue just to kind of hold it all down. There, and then glue the edges. So now I have a complete circle. Okay, there we go. All right, make sure that this backing is in the center, okay? So I've got it, I'm gonna go ahead and, this is green wire, it'll work. I've got a little piece right here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fold this in half like this, okay? And then bring the edges back down like this, okay? So then you've got this. And we're gonna go ahead and make, tie the wire around it. Oh. I made it sound so easy, didn't I? Okay, so this is what you got. Then you're gonna fluff, you know, kind of pull it apart. And if it's not centered, undo your wire and do it again. No biggie, I always, always, get them uneven. <laughs> so let me just make sure I fold it in half. It's just a hair uneven. <laughs> so let me do this again. Okay, let me fold it in half. See, I've got them. All right, let me just make sure that I get my ribbon or my wire in the center. That's why I'm always like, you know, don't go, don't like, you know, lock it down until you measure done like what I'm doing right now. Cause then now I can go really tight on this because I usually have to undo it. All right, fluff up your bow. Now, here's what I do. I just put this up against, you know, there, and then I take, okay, so I, I have this up against my thing, and then I'm like, how long, I don't know, how long do I want my things? That looks good. All right. <laughs> There's no formal training necessary for this. <laughs> so, let me just go ahead and cut this. Now, I want my ends to look cute, so I'm gonna go ahead and do the duck tails. You're gonna fold it in half, okay? And then you're gonna cut this way, from the in to the out, like that. There, and then voila. And then again for the other side. Voila, so this is what I have. I'm gonna go ahead and fold it in half, make my little mark right here. So I still have the wire ribbon on the outside or um, on here. So what I'm gonna do is just scrunch this up, okay? And then we're just gonna add it to that wire ribbon. And again, just twist it on, okay? There we go, voila. There is your bow. Just make this poofy. Like I said, very simple bow, nothing too grandiose. If you want to go all out, go all out. It is your wreath. And then let me show you, turn the cam, let me turn the camera around. I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay, so now I have my bow right here. I am going to attach it. I know, you're like, you're covering up the whole thing that you did. This is what I'm doing, okay? Yes, I have a little bit of, oh, there we are. I have a little bit of wire to go ahead and go around. And instead of moving the camera, I'll just move myself and oh I do want to say I did add some glue to the top of this which I will show you um, trying to I've got a little piece of the wire right here there we go trying to keep it on the stand and look somewhat professional while doing this. All right, got it good and twisted on here. Just tuck my edges, 
so nobody gets poked. All right. And then of course, I will make sure that it's centered. Let me come back around. What do you guys, oh, let me, let me give you the full look, okay? I'm gonna show you guys what I've got and tell me what you think. Okay, so what do you think? And of course, so let me just show you the back. If you're like, that's the way that I want the bow to stay, don't feel bad about taking a little dab of glue and then putting on the back of your ribbon and then gluing it down like that. Just a little dab, that way, in case the person that buys it is like, you know what, no, I don't want it to be like that. They can just pop it off. So here's where you can see that I put the glue on the centerpiece so it doesn't ever slide. Um, and then I have the, the wire for the bow right there. Um, but this is how it looks. Super simple, how stinking adorable. And yes, if you don't like these hanging off the edge, I don't mind. Um, you can always add more wire to it, like, you know, to make it, you know, stay onto the frame more but yeah what do y'all think okay so i wanted to show you what it looked like hanging on a door so there you go and let's get a close-up how cute i did add the glue like a tiny little dot of <laughs> i just popped it off see um, I did add a little tiny bit of glue on each side just to hold the ribbon in place. Um, but yeah, this is something that I just think is so beautiful. Um, it's much different than a uh, mesh wreath of any sort. So I really love the wine barrel ring. So if you have some of them, here's what you can do. Um, again, don't feel bad if you're buying stuff at Michael's or Walmart. I did it. I don't care. I love it. It looks beautiful to me. And again, if you are not a fan of having it drape off the wine barrel ring like that, then just use some more wire to attach to the frame. Super cute. Okay. So I wanted to show you the one that I did with live greenery. The bow's all disheveled. I just pulled this out of storage. So, um, so here's what it looks like. It is most definitely beautiful when you first put on the greenery. So if you do make a wreath like this, either if it's for yourself or, you know, to sell, just, I would let people know, like, you know, it does die just like a Christmas tree. <laughs> um, and this is what you're going to end up with. The dried fruit was like, I, I put dry fruit on here, so that was not a problem, but the greenery does tend to fade. Um, I am going to unravel all of this. That's why I went ahead and did, um, the lighting to the light from there is really bad. Um, trying to, shoot towards it. But, you know, just tell people what to expect because, you know, when I sell these, like this was a $75 ring. Um, and I don't want people to be, you know, disappointed. Although you would think, um, people would know that it would die. Um, the, the live greenery would eventually dry out and become like this. You don't want people to be completely surprised when the next year rolls around and then this is what they end up with. So, you can use the real stuff, but this is what you're going to have once, you know, the, 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 um, second Christmas rolls around, or you could use the faux greenery and then have something like this, you know, always. So it's totally up to you. I love them both ways. Um, I do have a different, I'm going to be doing another one where it's not this flocked greenery. It's super pretty. Um, and it'll be a different style, but I think we're going fake this year. All right, guys, so that is it for the wine barrel ring Christmas wreath. Um, you know, this wasn't a cheap wreath to make, you know, compared to others, but it definitely stands out because it is so different. Um, and if you can get your hands on some wine barrel rings, I mean, just ask around, usually Facebook, if you don't have access to them, Facebook is a great place to go and just say, hey, does anybody have something? Or you can use wooden rings. I mean, there's like a fly in here. You can get super creative and just use something round similar to that or make your own wire um, wire uh, frame. But that is it. So that is a different style of wreath that I wanted to share. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please give this video a thumbs up. Let me know to keep making more wreaths. And I just have to say, you have put your good juju on me. 
because I've talked about in my previous video where I was like, I don't really want to make any more wreaths for Christmas because I have so many and I need to sell them. You guys are incredible because somebody's putting the good juju out because my reads are selling really well in my shop. In fact, I'm like, I think I have to make more reads. And so I'm like, my channel is going to be really happy about that. So I have that one. I'm doing another one. Um, it's going to be a little different. It's going to be a 49er Christmas wreath by request. Um, I'm actually selling somebody specifically wanted it and bought it. So I'm like, if I'm going to make it, I might as well record it. So that one will be up very shortly. So look forward to that and, um, make sure that you're subscribed. You hit the notification bell, all of the fun stuff. So, um, I'm going to jump in the shower so I can go get my hair done and have a fabulous, fabulous week. Um, whatever you may be doing and happy holidays. Um, and I hope that it's filled with love, joy, lots of memories, um, traditions, all of the great things. So I will see you guys again very soon. Thank you so much for watching.